who are who's back of the week. Then we have Biz, uh, and then at the end we'll we'll wake him up. We'll do a little Monday reading and we'll do a little. I had another kid talk. All right, who's back of the week is brought to you by Cash App. The stock market, investing through Cash App, buying and selling Bitcoin, that is all back. Yeah, you can do it all on the Cash App. It's super easy to do. It links directly to your bank account. It's awesome. So go check out the Cash App, buy and sell Bitcoin, uh, and play some stock market. And of course, when you download the Cash App, enter the referral code Barstool, you get $10 uh, for free, $10 to the ASPCA. Download the Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today. And get involved with our friends at the Cash App. Also, shout out the Cash App. They're the ones who got us uh, Christian Horner on Friday. So if you like that interview, if you want us to talk about F1, please support the Cash App. Okay, Hank, who's uh, back? My who's back. I have a couple. First one's chugging beers. Yugging uh, or chugging? chugging? Yugging. I mean, it's part of It's Both of my who's backs are, are crowd-related. Uh, but that's just, you know, Taylor Luan, our co-worker. Bustin' with the Taywin. boys. Mm -hmm. Taywan. Taywan Luan. <laughs> Taywan. Uh, well, what, was, about, what about Zach Wilson? He didn't yug a beer. He yugged a H2O. He yugged a water. Really? That's responsible. Yeah, because he's Mormon. Love it. Mm -hmm. uh, the mother who's back is old jerseys. I thought it was because he was under 21. Oh, he might be. <laughs> he, he definitely... That's actually not a bad explanation. If I were him, I would give that because... He would, he would definitely get carded. Right. If he went to try to buy a beer and he could be like, I didn't have my ID on. Right. Old jerseys. I was on the way to work today. I saw a guy in a Porzingis jersey. Yeah, the Porzingis uh, one makes Calderon. no sense. Yeah, like there's. I think it's. I think it's because of the pandemic. You know, people haven't been going to games. Haven't been buying jerseys. So it's like you basically have a two year window. Two year window where you're like, oh fuck, let's just go. And and you know, it's been two years, so that player might not be in the team anymore. Mm -hmm. But it's also something that's fun about going to games in general, where it's like you walk around and you see at any game the most random old jerseys. Uh, but it's one of those little, you know, one of those little quirks you kind of forgot about. With crowds not being around, mm -hmm. that it's fun to see again. Lollapalooza yeah. is going to be a big city for that. No, but poor Zingas was like the guy here. For yeah. Like yeah. Oh yeah. A minute. The unicorn. unicorn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Good job, Hank. Nice, Hank. Do you have a good weekend? It's all right. Friday yeah. night, you showed your ass. Yep. Yeah. On a live stream. Congratulations. Thanks. I didn't think that you had that dump. No. Yeah. A little junk in the trunk. A little cake. Did you have any? Was it true that you had some streak marks? No. Okay. I just I w thank you for addressing that. You're welcome. I, I also um, <laughs> I invited Hank to hang out with me on Friday after the stream, and he just never replied to me. So I think that's that's a feather. Oh well, you cap. can thank Biz. I mean, we were doing a lot of Pink Whitney shots. I was pretty buckled by the end of the game. I just went yeah. home and, and went to sleep. Okay, responsible and, and yeah, responsible Hank. Somewhat responsible, yeah. Biz kind of they put me in a blender. Yeah, yeah, that will happen. Uh, my who's back of the week is cicadas. Mm. Cicadas are officially back and. A couple weeks ago when we talked about cicadas, I said be on the lookout for cicada content because we hadn't had like a cicada resurgence since the blogosphere has really been a thing. Cicada content is way more fucked up than I thought it was going to be. Like there's some cicada freaks out there. There's been a just waiting to shine. There's a guy that's like making action figures of like demonic uh, like characters and comic book characters out of cicada shells. It's fucking disturbing. <laughs> of course, there's like all sorts of cicada like recipes and like ways to cook them and ways to prepare them and right. fun things like that that are kind of gross. But like we predicted that. I did not think that the internet had freaks that would basically like jack off to cicada porn. Ugh. Just Weirdos. Look, look up. Look up the cicada shell action figures. Yes. It's Ugh. frankly disturbing. Ugh. Uh, is that it? Who's back? Yeah. Who's My, back? Well, also Man City. Man City's back. Yeah, they are. What'd they do? They won, won top of the table for EPL. Nice. Man City, bitch, man. Ooh. Man City. Bitch. Swans might said, be coming you said, up. You said soccer ended today. Who won? Uh, man City. Yeah. Top of the table. Swans might be coming up next Saturday. They play uh, a game to decide if they're coming up at Wembley. No big deal. Uh, all right. My who's back is uh, just a whoa stat for you. Um there was on Friday, no, Thursday maybe, the 20,000th MLB player of all time debuted, which is fucking crazy that if you think about it, this goes back to, I don't know, 1870 or something, mm -hmm. 20,000 players, that's it. So if you took every player who's appeared in a single game of Major League Baseball, they wouldn't even come close to filling a Major League Baseball stadium. When you put it that way, it's kind of weird. It's crazy to think tw only 20,000 players mm -hmm. have ever played Major League Baseball. It also puts into perspective just how incredible of a human being Dan Heron is. 
Correct. Because he's one of 20,000. 20, and really, he's more like one of like 5,000 who were like really good at baseball. And Dan Heron has gotten hits off of, what, two of those? Th- yes. M- maybe upwards of five of yeah. those 20,000. What was the Albert Pujols stat? He's gotten hits off like 9% of anyone that's ever pitched in major yeah. baseball. Not really that impressive. Well, it's not imp- as impressive when you realize that like for 75 of the like the 150 years of baseball, it was pretty much just like the Yankees playing the Dodgers every yeah. year. Yeah, there were like three guys named gentlemen that were that yeah. were pitching. Yeah, a guy yeah. with three and fingers. The, the best and the player pirates, in baseball yeah. had three fingers for like a decade. Yes, yeah, uh, but that's just a crazy stat. Twenty thousand, because you think you, I would have guessed way more if I had like if I had no knowledge of it. Mm-hmm. Thinking about 150 years of the game being played. 20,000. It is wild. 20,000. Uh, it was a backup catcher for the Seattle Mariners, which is kind of cool. Did he got into the He game? was the 20,000th player to appear in a game. Does he get? Does he win anything? Is it like at a supermarket so. when yeah. you're their millionth customer? I wonder how many of those 20,000 like only played like less than 10 games. Yeah, just got up. A cup of coffee. Guys. Yeah, yeah, a cup of coffee like in the middle middle is such a cool thing to say. I actually I saw an, an article the other week. And I, I wanted, I meant to click on it, and I feel bad that I didn't click on it. So if somebody could summarize it for me, but basically saying like, if you get labeled as a middle reliever in baseball, you're fucked. Yeah. Unless you, unless you go out there and you have a streak of like yeah, twenty all, awesome yeah. games in a row as a middle reliever, you're fucked, and you're just gonna like move around for the rest of your career, and you'll pitch two innings a game like every other game. Because no one wants to actually pay you like real money. You'll so never you just go. Yeah. You'll never become a closer. You'll never become a starter. I think cup of coffee in, in Major League Baseball might be the coolest. Like not like coolest. Like I was an athlete, but not. I didn't. I wasn't like a star kind of thing to say. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe drafted in in like I don't know. Maybe drafted in the NBA or NFL. But then then people are like, what went wrong? Yeah, how come you didn't last? Cup of coffee in Major League Baseball means like you climbed it, like you did it. You 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 went through right. There's some way more. Shit. There's way more grinders than right. The, and, 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 oh my God, MLB versus right. like the mm-hmm. NBA or NFL right. because right. it's just like there's so many less people. You have to be super talented just to get in. Yeah. Right, and then you usually flame out. Right, it would also be sick if you were like a running back that scored. I don't know, like you're a backup running back that got in, scored a few touchdowns, and became like a fantasy must start for like three games to right. end out a season. Right, and then no one ever heard from you again. Yes, because that would be then cool. you'd at least have like a built-in fan base of guys who're like Peyton Hillis. Thank you for that winning whole me. season. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Gray. Uh, Jonas, Jonas, Gray. Jonas Gray. Yeah, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, right? Yeah, yeah. He slept he in. Yeah. Um, Jake, who's your who's back? I have one. Did you guys see this Mariners lineup first? You're talking about the Mariners. There's like two or three guys that I think are like recognizable names. Let me see it. Let me see it. I'll tell you. Donovan Walton, leadoff hitter. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mitch Haniger, okay. Kyle Seager. Kyle Seager's Kyle, recognizable. Yeah, Kyle Lewis. Yeah. I've heard of those three then. Jose Godoy. Sam, that's the guy. That's yeah. the, that's the 20,000th. Yeah. yeah. Jose Godoy. Right. 20,000th. Sam Haggerty, Jacob Nottingham, Jack Mayfield, and Justin Dunn. Hmm. And they had, but they had some kid who came up recently, who's like supposed to be a superstar. The Mariners are low key, and this is now just a direct shot at our friend Spencer Hawes, who may or may not be trying to get Kwame Brown on the show. Jared Kelenic, the one from the Jared Kelenic, he's going to be sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, The Mariners are like one of those teams. It's kind of like Minnesota sports and the Seattle Mariners. You don't really understand the sadness until you actually like look into it a little bit, and you're like, oh shit. They haven't been in the playoffs ever since 2001. Pretty much never. Yeah, and they and they had Ken Griffey Jr. and Randy Johnson and A Rod. I mean, that team was and, one. And, and you could just name got Jay Buhner. Yeah, and like they had all those. They had Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, Tino A-Rod, Martinez. A, was Tino on it? Yeah, I think he was. Ichiro. E, e, yeah, I mean that's later. But yeah, I'm yeah. saying like they had A Rod and Ken Griffey Jr. and Randy Johnson. And Edgar Martinez, all at like the height of their powers. Those are four Hall of Famers, and nothing to show for it. Mm-hmm. That's it's sad. So I didn't mean to do that. That was a complete tangent. I apologize to Mariners fans. That's complete assault. But it's more actually saying we feel your pain. When was the last time they went to the playoffs? Two thousand one. And what was their record? Was that 116 the? That was 46. the yeah. They lost to the White Sox, right? Uh, in the first yeah. round. No, they lost to the Yankees in the ALCS. In the ALCS. Okay, never mind. They beat the White Sox in the first round, maybe? They beat the Indians. I'm just White Sox was the I year think before. You're thinking, I think you're thinking of the, the year they yeah. broke the record. 
Yes, that's right. And then they lost in the first round. Yes. Yeah. They, was that the year before? 2000? Yeah, 2000, yeah. What, they, what was their record? 91 and 71. Okay. So that wasn't the record. No, the ne- it was 01 was 116. 116. And 46. Holy shit. Yeah. That's insane. They had yeah. a couple years where they were really, really good and missed the playoffs, too. 116 by, by wins, luck. though? 116. They lost the AL Championship Series. So they did win around... They won around in the playoffs. But it's been twenty years. Two thousand one and two thousand. It's been twenty years. And I then, remember I went to I went to a game out there like three years ago. Awesome great, ballpark. Great park. Great food. Great food. Yeah. Great park. Really cool. Highly recommend it. But I looked up and there was like a banner that said AL West two thousand one or whatever. It might not even been the AL West then. Um, and I was like, holy shit! Is that the last time they went to the playoffs? And it was. And, then and they, this is your sad. They've Mariners won stuff. like mid nineties amounts yeah, of games. This is really sad. I'm a sorry. A couple times, and they miss the playoffs when that happens. I really apologize. Oh, they know. They know. No, Mar- I know, Mariners but it's fans, just very sad. Yes, to they, like say. But they, I, you know what? They probably appreciate the fact that it's Correct. being brought up because sometimes when you're playing out west on a team that's as unremarkable as the Mariners are, you kind of you lose that vibe of being like the most lovable losing franchise. But they have like a coolness factor That's because of Ken Griffey Jr. They should be lovable losers yes. at this point. And it, it really is. It's more shining a light like when you t- when you talk about like these certain cities where you're like, oh yeah it's worth, like we always talk about Cleveland or we always talk about, you know, the Bills, like, but no, there are some there's some really bad ones out there. Mm-hmm. Like, um, Alright. Enough of that.